The importance of expectations really showed that the original view of the Phillips curve could fall apart. And this is exactly what we saw in the 1970s and beyond. As we actively tried to manipulate the economy with a non-expectation augmented vision of the economy, the original Phillips curve relation disappeared in the new data. The critical importance of expectations was really driven home by the theoretical argument that came to be known as the Lucas critique. Robert Lucas was the winner of the 1995 Nobel Prize in Economics, and he argued that it was naive to try to predict the effects of a change in economic policy entirely on the basis of relationships observed in historical data, especially highly aggregated historical data. The historical data happened in a context where the data were not trying to be taken advantage of. In a different context, say a context where the relationship had been found, had been discovered in the past data and was trying to be taken advantage of, the same relation may not hold. The relationship between variables could change in response to changes in economic policy. The Lucas critique in the data from the 1970s showed that theoretically and empirically, an activist policy which assumes a stable trade-off of the Phillips curve is simply incorrect. In its place, the expectations augmented Phillips curve has become a fundamental element of almost every macroeconomic forecasting model now used by governments and business. The monetarists, in other words, won this debate. Some form of expectations augmented Phillips curve is accepted by most otherwise diverse schools of macroeconomic thought. This debate changed macro history, and it created a new consensus. The 1970s knocked Keynesian ideas to the mat, and there was simply no getting up. The proverbial nail seemed to be in the coffin. Countercyclical fiscal policy had previously been defeated, and now too, an important element of Keynesian activist monetary policy had been destroyed. The shining light that was the Keynesian consensus had grown quite dim. A new macro was needed.